hi everyone, thanks for being here for my virgin bar experience. <laughs> um, I must apologize, I'm not really a spoken word poet, I haven't really written for the stage, so to speak, so I'll be reading from the page, and I hope you guys enjoy the poems. Um, the first poem that I would like to read is from my first collection, Chasing Curtain Sons, and it talks about I guess uh, an area that is quite complicated in my family's history. My grandmother was the second wife of my grandfather and she refused to visit my grandfather um, even moments before she, um, he was about to die in hospital. So, I mean, they haven't talked for 30 years. So I was just imagining myself in her shoes and um, yeah, so that's where this poem comes from. And I used to play with her little pendant on her neck when I was really young. So yeah, there's a reference to that as well. Visitor. Each morning, the neighbor fastens his tie before driving off. And from your bed, you see gates swinging in step like the pendant of yours, now culled from vantage and visible in its hollow mahogany drawer. Light gathers at the window's edge, too early for letting itself in. And the news arrives by phone circling like crows, always a nuisance, news freshly perched in twin sanctums of your ears, your eyes trespassing on the neighbor's yard. The father of your children is dead, it says, some ten minutes ago, when curtains still guard and you have not risen. A wind ripples through trees. Maybe it is finding its way among distractions. A voice you hear but cannot see. By the fence, dew on eager leaves ripening as it disappears. A trade made necessary by those too long in love. Or what makes love vulnerable? This neck of skin, this aching after hiding places. Your pendant, unclasped pushed away, or let go, heard, not seen. Thank you.